Howdy everybody, Argon Matrix here, welcoming to episode 11 of our Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke. Uh, last time we made it through to Vermilion City, past the route, we caught ourselves a Meowth, which was kind of fun. And uh, here we are. We actually have a couple more encounters we can get over uh, over yonder, which I think I will do. I don't know if I want to battle the people on, because I'd rather battle the people on the SSN, because they're like one-time trainers. Whereas these guys you can only, you can get pretty much any time. First, let's head into Diglett's cave, though. What do we got? Well, isn't this a surprise? Diglett dug this long tunnel. It goes right to Viridian City, they tell me. Hmm, fancy that, huh? Um, I think I... Ah, oh, should I take this now? Hold on. Let me check something here. I guess, yeah, because I, I think you need, like, uh, to have owned ten different Pokemon in order to get the thing that's at the end of this tunnel, because there's like a guy who gives it to you if you've seen 10 Pokemon, or owned 10 Pokemon, I believe. Alright. And we do get an encounter in here. Take one wild guess at what it's gonna be in Diglett's cave. Let's find out here. It could be one of two things. It's a Diglett, okay. I'm actually very glad for that. If it had been a Doug Trio, which can happen, and they're like level 28 or 26, I would have been very, very scared, to be honest with you. Alright, so, uh, leading off with Grandosco here. Let's try and Leech Life it and see what we can do. And this is actually something we can add to the team, because we do not have any ground types on our team yet. And that would actually be a very nice thing to have, just in time for the, uh, magnitude. Ten! Oh god, Grandosco, you resist that! That's the strongest magnitude possible, though. Wow! Grandosco! <laughs> I did... Okay, I thought that was gonna do a lot more, to be honest. Like, it's, I know it's resisted, but it's magnitude 10, and really, it's a Paris. Like, not the strongest thing in the world defensively. Magnitude 9? I'm not afraid, not anymore. Not if that's sad showing. Imagine how much, like, a magnitude 4 would do. Probably, like, literally one damage, if I had to guess. Alright, there we go. Diglett is paralyzed. Should be fairly easy to catch at this point. Let's, uh, get her done. Man, Diglett. I'm gonna have you, I'm gonna name you. You're another male Pokemon on my team. All the females are in the box and all the male. <laughs> We've got such a sausage fest. This is so sad. It's just interesting. I don't know. It's weird. The mole Pokemon lives about one yard underground when it's where its feet where it feeds on plant roots. It sometimes appears above ground. Is that a word? Above ground? I feel like that's not a word. Um, oh well. Uh, gave a nickname? Yeah, of course. I'll be right back with that, uh, fancy dancy nickname. Alright, I actually had to do a little bit of snooping to see if I could find something, because I thought I remembered someone, uh, wanted to nickname- wanted to be nicknamed specifically after the Diglett from Diglett- Diglett Cave. But unfortunately I could not find that comment, if it exists, so... If you left that comment, I'm sorry that this is named after you. I was gonna try- I tried to find you, but I just couldn't seem to find it for some reason. Instead, I'm going to be choosing the nickname Graffin, which comes courtesy of, uh, Sly Cooper, believe it or not. So, uh, a gentleman who commented on the video saying that Graffin is his general internet alias, and he would be happy to have a nickname, so there you go. Graffin, you are a diglet, you are gonna be on our team. Good stuff. Am I good? Yeah. I just wanted to make sure it was spelled right and everything. I think that's the way that he spelled it in the comment. Pretty sure here. Oh, you have Dig already. Timid nature. Ooh, that's pretty bad. I'll be- I'm gonna be the fastest motherfucker out there, don't get me wrong, because timid, I believe, raises speed and lowers attack. Which is bad, because ground is a physical type, I believe. But, you know, it's whatever. It's not a big deal. Magnitude, growl, scratch, and dig. Pretty alright by me. Alright, I'm gonna use some items and heal you up here, just in case. Just in case I end up having to, like, use you at some point here. I don't imagine I will very shortly, because, uh... Because I got some strong people, and there's some strong Pokemon around here that I don't necessarily want to use you against. Probably should not have used a Super Potion, super potion for that, but what's done is done. There you go, Graffin's all healed up and good to go. Alright, now I think I'm going to... I'll leave Grandosco out front. And I'm going to go ahead and use a Repel, because the encounter rate in Diglett's Cave is pretty ridiculous. And all we're going to run into is Diglett's. There's possibly Doug Trios. There's really nothing interesting in here, though. 
If anything, now that I have the Repel up, it'll only cause us to run into Doug Trios. And that happens very rarely anyway, so... Hopefully we'll be, uh, lucky enough to make it through without, uh, well... Man, I didn't realize how long this tunnel was. I need two repels for this shit. Crazy. I imagine there's like a hidden item or two down here, but fuck me if I'm gonna find it. I went inside Rock Tunnel, but it's pitch black and covered in soot in there. If I could get a Pokemon to use Flash and light it up. Hmm. Well, la dee da with that. Man, I hate Flash. It's such a bad move. I hate that it's an HM in this game, but it is what it is. I'll deal with it. Oh, there's got to be an item around here. I can I can snoop this one out, can I? Come on. I might end up just cutting this out if there's nothing here. Huh? Really? I can't I can't seem to find anything. Okay, maybe I'm just an idiot. Whatever. Repels effect wore off. Thanks. All right. Is it in this house? It must be in this house that I get. Uh, yeah. Here's the aid. I th wait, no. This isn't the aid. Am I just a big idiot? I'm looking for the Pokemon Abra. Want to trade one for my Mr. Mime? That would have been a great trade. Unfortunately, I didn't get the Abra. And I wouldn't have done that trade anyway, because I'd like Abra. Even though Mr. Mime is really cool, and I think that's the only way to get him. But kind of goes against the spirit of the Nuzlocke, even if it doesn't go, go intentionally against the rules. Well, I guess that's egg on my face, because I thought, I thought I could do this before getting cut, but I guess not. Oh, well, we got an encounter out of it regardless, so... I'll meet you guys back in, uh, Vermilion. Alright, we made it out safe and sound. Got Graffin in here. Um, I guess I can put him at the front of the party for now. I'm just trying to, try and switch train him a little bit. See what we can do. Actually, hold on, no, I should switch them back for right now because we have yet another encounter to get over on this route here, over on, uh, Route 11, I believe this is. Let's see what we can do. Don't want to draw the ire of any trainers just yet, but possibly shortly I will. There's Repel's effect. I knew that was what was causing me not to run into anything. All right, what do we got? We got a Drowsy. That is another type that we don't have. We don't have a Psychic type because we failed to get Abra. So we could add Drowsy to the team if we want to, and I very well might. Drowsy's kind of awesome. Um... Leech Life, for, Leech Life is super effective is the thing, but it's weak. I think I'm gonna bullet seed. If, it, if there's any time to hit twice in a row, it's okay. Well, that's fine. You can hit five times and even be fine. Hypnosis. Ooh, that would be good to have. Yeah, I might just add Drowsy to the team, too. I know having five Pokemon by this point in the game is not necessarily advisable because you're spre spreading your uh, experience pretty thin. Actually, no, that would be six Pokemon, wouldn't it? Hmm. I'm not sure. I mean, what would Drazi be good against? Like, poison types and fighting types? Yeah. Huh. I don't know. Although I do need- I do still need to leave space in my room for a water type, ideally. That's a tough call, actually. Regardless, I'm still gonna catch it, just so I have the actual uh, option to use it. Another male, so that's a, that's an indication that it should be on my team, I guess. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Well, first thing to do is to nickname it, I suppose. Nickname him. The Hypnosis Pokemon. Puts enemies to sleep, then eats their dreams. Occasionally gets sick from eating only bad dreams. Aw. That's strangely, like, morbidly adorable. I don't know. It's weird. Give a nickname? Hell yeah. Let's see what I can find. Alright, we got a nickname from our good friend, uh, Jet Kirby. We're gonna nickname this guy Kirby. I got the idea just because, like, this guy eats dreams, Kirby eats everything. So, uh, it seems to fit. Jet Kirby, thank you for, uh, for leaving your comment. I know you wanted a Jigglypuff initially, but we did not end up getting a Jigglypuff, so... Hopefully Drowsy is a nice second. Let's do it. Let's see how Drowsy is. How you looking, Kirby? Quiet nature. I feel like that's good. I don't remember what that does exactly. Insomnia has the ability. I never checked to Graffin's ability. It's Sand Veil, which is probably better than Arena Trap for the purposes of like an in-game playthrough, honestly. Pound Hypnosis Disable Confusion. That's alright by me. Very uh, solid moveset, actually. 
question is, is do I want you on the team? Hmm, Kirby. Because, like, look, like, if I have you on the team, that'll be these six Pokemon. Like, this will be our team for the foreseeable future until someone faints or dies. <laughs> I suppose I should call it what it is. It's dying in a Nuzlocke, but... Huh. Am I okay with that? Like, I don't have anyone that can surf is the thing. I don't think anyway. May maybe Raticate can learn surf. I feel like that might be a thing. So Nefits could surf, but that's not ideal. I don't know. I think for the time being, I'm gonna go ahead and stick uh, Kirby in the PC. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, I guess this is happening now. Let's go, but don't cheat. Got you got me. I was planning on activating my AR codes and just uh, wiping the floor with your Ekans. Go, Grandosco. Use Earthquake on this Ekans. This is actually kind of strong. Hold on. Ekans. Sp speaking of, I'm just about to go box our Psychic type, and turns out he's actually perfect for this. Although our Ground type would work out well too, but it's level 21. Do I want to risk that? I feel like I don't. I feel like Nefitz is a safer play right now. Let's see what we can do. Leer. I'm not afraid of you. You hear me? I'm not afraid anymore. Hyper Fang this thing into oblivion. Oh yeah, look at that. Glare? Pfft. That's not gonna matter in a second when I quick attack you. Get ready for this. Nefits, finish him off. Yeah. You're nothing, Ekans. Nothing. Go evolve and then come back. That was, that was kind of brutal. I'm sorry, Ekans. Huh? That's not right. Did I cheat? Did I? I did my best. I have no regrets. You should be on Nugget Bridge, you know? I guess that's just like the standard default fucking uh, trainer message they have for after battles or something. I don't know. So I, f I feel like just having six Pokemon at this point in the game is not ideal. That's just my personal opinion. I don't know. You guys feel free to comment, uh whether you think we should have Kirby on the team right now or not. I'd rather leave that open for a water type, personally, because I think that would be just ultimately more uh, useful. I mean, or do I want to box... Or do I want to box a uh, Graffin? Because that's an option, too. As far as I'm concerned, the first four members of our team are set right now. They've been with us for so long, I know it... I know probably, like, one of them could be swapped out, like, uh, Kaimi and Nefits might be a little redundant, I guess. Not terribly so, I don't think, but it is what it is. They're on our team. They've been with us through up until now, so they're staying. Graffin and Kirby, though, I'm not sure about. So, hmm. Oh, man, I feel like this is a decision I have to make. I can't wait for these comments to come through because I want, I want to keep recording tonight and, like, get stuff done. Let's see. Give me a second to think about this. This is kind of a tough call. Um, okay, I think I've made up my mind. I'm actually going to, this might seem a little crazy considering the next gym is Electric type, but I'm going to store Graffin in the PC for the time being. Because, like, when I'm, I'm thinking, I'm trying to think about it logically here, and like practically, pragmatically, all that shit. Graffin is a ground type. He's not the most defensive thing in the world, he's pretty frail, so I'd be, like, playing very carefully with him. And Ground-type is good against Electric, uh, Rock, Steel, and Poison, I believe. Uh, Rock and Steel, we already have, uh, Kaimi for, who, with our Fighting-types, that's actually very good. And if we save that last slot for a Water-type, then that'll be good as, like, a special option against, uh, Rock-types and stuff. So that's already covered. Poison types, if we keep uh, Kirby on the squad, then that's a good good fit for that. And Kirby also does well against fighting types, which I don't really have anything for. I have uh, Grandosco who resists it, but nothing to actually like combat it. And uh, I, I mean, I suppose I will once uh, Zamori evolves again, but I'd like to have the psychic option too, especially for poison types and stuff, I guess. And then uh, the last thing Grind is good against is Electric. Which would be very handy, don't get me wrong, but right now none of my team is weak to electric. And I can also teach Dig to anybody I want, so... I think this is the smarter option for me. Just in my personal opinion, I don't know, feel free to leave your guys' opinions in the comments below. Let me know what you think the better option might be. 
maybe put them both on the team. Maybe that's the answer that I'm not uh, really considering right now, but I don't I don't think that's a great option, to be honest with you. So for right now, we're going to have Kirby in here. And we are going to, I guess, hmm, do I want to do the SSN or do I want to do Red 11? I think I'll tackle the SSN first, just to see what kind of levels we get up to, because we have to go through this. We don't have to battle everyone on the SSN, but once per year, man. If I return one year later on this save file, will it be back? Probably not. I flashed the SS ticket. Great. All right, let's head on here. Take a minute to cherish this music. It's kind of cool. Here we are. SS Anne. How about this? The passengers are restless from this long voyage. You might be challenged by the, by the more bored ones. We've got a couple minutes to go. I suppose I can probably get in a, at least a few battles. Ah, the strong silent type. And keep in mind, there is a healing room in here, so take liberal use of this. This woman who just lets you sleep in her bed. Uh, whether she actually sleeps in the bed with you is debatable. I should hope not, because I'm a ten-year-old child, so don't be gross. But... Found a hyper potion. Hell yeah. I always remember that hyper potion. I don't know why. It's just one of those things that sticks in my head. Yeah, I believe there's only one mandatory battle on the SSN, but I'd like to use these to help get Kirby up to par with the rest of the team here. So let's see what we can do. Tch, look at these dudes. What? We're not sharing this bed. And even if we are, what's it to your business? I can't tell if you're from the seas or mountains, but stop and... Wait, what? Stop. I thought this said stop and eat. I'm not sure what it actually said. All my Pokemon are from the sea. Probably not stop and eat is... If I had to guess, he's not what he said. Freshman Barney. <laughs> okay. Tentacool, huh? I'm tempted to leave uh, Kirby in, but that's probably a bad move. The last thing I need is for Tentacool to, like, wrap me, stick me in here so that I can't switch out, and then bubble beam me into oblivion or something. Constrict, I don't think traps you in. I think that's just a really bad, really bad move. There we go. Tentacool also has pretty high special attack, uh, special defense too, so using Confusion would not have been the best idea. Um, do I feel safe switching in against... Probably not. I was considering switching Kirby back in to, uh, get experience out of this, but... That's the thing about set to... the set battle styles, that it's hard to... Hard to really grind anyone up, is the thing. At least against, like, multiple Pokemon battles like this. If, this, if the other trainer only has one Pokemon, then it's pretty, uh... It works out pretty well, but... Or if you're going against wild Pokemon, I guess. But it is what it is. I'll just do the best I can. Try and not let anyone hit to... Get too close to level 24 or anything. Or 25, I should say. Level 24 is technically fine, but... Right on. I wonder if... Hmm... You're walking the plank if you lose. Oh, God. I wonder if, uh... Kirby can learn Water Pulse. I don't think he can. That doesn't seem like some... Like, I, I wish he could. Machop. What would Machop... I'm level 11, he's level 20. Oh, that's such a risk. We're risking. We're going crazy. Leer. Ooh. I don't like that. Hypnosis, please. Okay. I I'm gonna, he, he'll stay asleep for this turn, guaranteed. Let's just see how much confusion actually does to him. Because this would be a lot of experience for Kirby if he could handle this. Okay, that's decent. I'm so scared. He's just gonna wake up, karate chop me, and get a critical hit and kill Kirby. Oh, this is such a bad idea. Why am I doing this? He's still asleep. Is this gonna kill? Come on, Kirby. I don't know why this is so tense for me, but it just is. That's not... that didn't kill. He woke up. He used Seismic Toss? Okay, well, I know that won't kill, because that does guaranteed, uh... Does the same damage as his level, so that did 20. A critical hit pound. Oh, Kirby, you're trying so hard. I love it. You get level 12, man. You get that. 
I freaking love Drowsy and Hypno. They're the best. Like, Abra would have been very cool, sure, but... And he'd probably be much stronger than uh, Hypno in the end, but... God damn it. I just I have a soft spot for Hypno. Uh, when we're out at sea, jellyfish Pokemon sometimes drift by. What did this guy say? I was gonna make him my assistant, too. What? Uh, I'll pass on that. Thanks. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up, and it looks like probably with the, the few things that I cut out of this video, I should still have a little bit of time for one or two more battles. Probably just one, depending on what it is, but... Yeah, I gotta be very careful. Like, I know it might have been... It might have seemed like I was being a little over-careful with uh, Kirby in that battle. But, really, he's, like, so weak at this point that I just can't risk, e like, even against a Machop. Machop is strong. Like, it's, that's, that's Kaimi status right there. Tentacool, huh? I mean, I'm not nearly as confident against the Tentacool because, like I said, it has very high special defense. So, Confusion probably would not do that much to it. Especially at the levels that I'm at. World of Disadvantage. Oh, you just had to poison me, didn't you? Nefit, show him who's boss. Go Hyper Fang. Yeah. Mmm. Peanut butter jelly time. Where's the peanut butter, you ask? Well, clearly Nefit's is the color of peanut butter. And the only explanation for that is that he actually secretly sweats peanut butter. That would be so gross. <laughs> Someone actually sweating peanut butter, that like the consist that consistency of sweat. Why am I talking about this? This is horrible. <laughs> Just kill that and get out of here. Oh, you're not bad. Well, thank you. I could say the same about you, but I'd be lying. I'm sorry, that was mean. <laughs> that was a little too, uh... Man, am I sure I'm Canadian? I'm being mean lately. Uh, oh, gotta heal that, uh... Poison, because I don't trust myself to make it back to the healing room without uh, Nefit's dying from poison. That would be so sad. We just got that TM44 rest, which is really nice. I think that, like, just about anybody can learn that. And it restores your HP fully and heals any status problem, but you will be asleep for two turns after the fact, so keep that in mind. But in a challenge where I can't actually heal in battle with items, recovery moves like that, like even leech life on uh, Grandosco, and then rest like that, that could come in very much handy. I only get one use out of that, though, is the thing, so I have to make sure I use it on the at the right time on the right Pokemon. So, keep it in the back pocket for now, and just try to remember that it's there. Um, I'm being a little frisky. Let's try and get one more battle in here. Or at least see what it, what's in this third room, because some of these rooms don't actually contain battles. Was that the foghorn that I just heard? Or was that part of the music? That was weird. I like feisty kids like you. The joke makes itself. Am I wrong about that? I just tell me I'm wrong. Horsey, huh? Level 17. Who do I want against Horsey? I guess Grandosco, because everyone's pretty even level right now, so. Might as well get the type, type advantage if I don't have any reason not to. Just don't go for Peck or something weird, Horsey. Don't be a weirdo, okay? Stop leering me. That's making me scared. Anytime something goes for leer over and over again, that's either a very bad thing, because this means it's trying to set up to, like, one-hit you, or it's just being dumb and only using leer, because that's all it can really do to affect you. Smokescreen. Ooh. Not a fan of that. At least I hit. Alrighty. Kirby's up to level 13, making swift progress on that front at least. He won't be any good to us in the gym, really. Probably not anyway, unless he might be able to learn Dig too now that I think about it. But, uh, smoke screen. I might have to switch you out, Grandosco. Because you're not going to be able to hit these bullet seeds pretty soon here. Okay. Well, prove me wrong, I guess. That's your challenge. There you go, one hit that horsey. I mean, technically it was three hits, but I only used one move, so... Call it what you want, I call it a one hit. And horsey again, man. Gotta love the variety in these Pokemon teams, right? 
Aw, oh, Grand Osco. You had such a good streak going. That's okay. You know, even the best have to, uh, have to flub one up once in a while, right? Even the ki okay, two in a row is a little ridiculous. I understand you've been smokescreened twice, and that I don't think bullet speed is even 100% accurate to begin with, but I believe in you. There you go. He just needed those four words of encouragement. I be leaving you. I was trying to make an acronym, and I just couldn't think of it for some reason. Uh, I B I Y. That's a terrible acronym. E B. Grandos Kruger level 22. I'm alright with that. I actually think... Does Grandosco evolve at 24? That would be nice to have that in the uh, gym battle, because he does resist electric, so that's something to consider. Uh, sea Pokemon leave deep underwater. You need a rod to fish them up. I have an old rod. It's not the best thing in the world, but... An ether. Alright, I'm going to run back to the healing room, and I think I'm going to have to call it a video at that, because... My timer says 30 minutes up there, and that's a little long for my tastes. So anyway, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this first part of the SSN and some, uh, some kind of team building stuff, I guess. I had fun with it. And we're just gonna stare awkwardly at this wall with this woman who keeps healing us up, and call it a day. Thanks everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you and good night.